Welcome to Math with Wong. Today, we're going to look at a question where we're asked to find the term in which the x and the y are raised to the same power. Now, what do we do? Anytime you get a binomial expansion question, you write down your binomial theorem and choose r, a to the power of n minus r, b to the power of r. Again, you're asked to find the term. So you don't know what the value of R is, but you know all the other informations. N is six, it's raised to the power of six. A is the first term. So A is X squared times Y. And B is the second term. Again, always include the sign minus two Y squared. So now I'm going to put all those things into the binomial theorem because we know all those informations. Six choose R, X square Y to the power of six minus R, negative two Y square to the power of R. Again, I'm going to separate the coefficient from the variable. So the coefficient it just six choose R. Here, I don't have a coefficient, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Here, I have a negative two, so it's gonna be negative two to the power of R. So that's my coefficient. Now, what about the variable? The variable contained X and Y. So for the first term here, I'm going to separate the X and the Y. So X is going to be raised to this power and Y is going to be raised to that power. So here, here X is going to be to the power of 12 minus 2R. This should build a block. 2 times 6, 2 times R. Y is going to be raised to the power of 6 minus R. Uh, what about this part? Well, this part is going to be y raised to the power of 2r. So all those combined together would be your variable. Now, what does this question ask for? This question says that I want to find a term which x and y are raised to the same power. Which means the power of x and the y would have the same value. So let me focus on the variable part. X is gonna be simply 12 minus 2R. Y though, because I have two terms and I need to combine them. How do I combine them again? Keep the base and add the exponent. So six minus R plus 2R is gonna be six plus R. And if they are raised to the same power, then 12 minus 2R must equal to 6 plus R, which means 3R equal to 6, R is equal to 2. When R equals to 2, this side I get 8, that side I get 8. So what is the term then? Knowing X is going to be raised to the power of eight and Y is raised to the power of eight, I need to find the coefficient. So the coefficient is going to be six choose R, right? Right here, coefficient, six choose R and negative two to the power of R, which is two. So this is your coefficient. And the variable is going to be X to the power of eight, y to the power of eight. Now, if it's a paper one, you can leave it like that. If it's a paper two, you would have to expand it, right? Find out what six choose two is, and then multiply it by four. And that would be the coefficient for this term, which x and y are raised to the same power. Okay. Thank you for watching.